Anyway, let's go again here. Disney money? I'm pretty sure IGN is still owned by Disney. Or IGN is owned by Fox, which is owned by Disney. So, Disney. Hope you're prepared for what I'm pretty sure that's still the case. Unless there's some something I missed. Because they were bought by Fox at one point, and Fox is now owned by Disney, so I would assume that's still the case. I could be wrong. I just haven't heard anything about IGN not being owned by Fox anymore, so... That's why I assume it's still the case. That moment could have been a lot cleaner. What outfit am I wearing? I'm wearing the Spockwork outfit. Ha. You sure you'll be warm enough up here, Nora? I've worked up a sweat from the climb. You made it to the cut, Outlander. Not that you'll stay long. Just in time to see logo. <laughs> Indeed. Imagine if you missed the logo. Oh yeah, the headpiece on this outfit is terrible. Most of the village is moving towards that smoke. Hey, take this ruckus. It started with one of their shamans. Uh, I mean, I actually don't like most of the headpieces on pretty much all the outfits. Demons up on Thunder's drum. When a I want mm -mm. or she was mm. not well, no. don't make I wonder if Aratok could tell me more about Aurea. It's not as bad as the Shield Reaver though, because the Shield Reaver is god awful. Okay. If I want to learn more about this <laughs> demon affects the machines. I've got to find Aurea. And to do that, I need to talk to her apprentice who followed the river north. The live interactions between the devs and the speedrun community? Hmm. I don't know. I guess I'm down for it if they are for it, but I don't know if that's something they're interested in. Maybe not until after Forbidden West is out so they can talk more openly about stuff. <laughs> There's just very few outfits in this game, in my opinion, that have good headpieces. have just gotten started. <sighs> That's the last of the scavengers. Yeah, pretty good. Scavengers ripped out three major parts. If I could bring them back, maybe I could even investigate it. Well, that fits. Sure hope it <laughs> works. 
Yeah, why would we ever want to cover up the Aloy's hair? <laughs> I think one of the reasons as well why the Banuke Sickness Eater is my favorite outfit in terms of how it looks is uh, because the headpiece is actually pretty good on that one. I think I can leap onto the tall neck from here. Made it. Now to climb up to its head. Am my run going? It's just started, but it's a solid start. We'll see what it turns into. Just give me a moment, and I'll be off your back. I gotta remember, most of my time save is on the very end of the run, so... If I can just keep up with my PB like this, it's gonna be a very good run. I did. <clears throat> Is the tall nigga needed? Uh, in order to challenge Aerotag in the DLC, you need to complete two side objectives. really bad are you I kind of and what you you'll know Sham if you had go to the you have uh, four side objectives you can complete and you have to complete two of them we do the tall neck and the hunting ground trial in this run because those are the fastest bandit camp is also an option and or getting all nine of the pigments but obviously getting all nine of the pigments would be very slow because they're scattered all over the map and the bandit camp is just a lot further away than the tall neck, so so the bandit camp is not worth it. I think the bandit camp would probably could be faster than the tall neck if it was a uh, similar distance, though. I think most people just don't notice it when they play the frozen wilds, because people have a tendency to just complete all the side objectives before they do main story and therefore they don't realize that it's it's a requirement for our attack Aurea literally uh, when you meet Aurea the first time here on shaman's path she literally tells you that you have to do that in order to gain the respect of the warrick to be able to challenge him but of course if you have already done it when you find Aurea you know she, uh, she says you are good enough to challenge him already. Because I imagine most people, when they come to the Frozen Wilds, they probably go straight to the Tolnik, complete that, and then they probably end up going and doing the Bandit Camp as well while they're exploring. Do we do any glitches in this run? Depends on your definition of glitch, but there are some things that are arguably glitches, yeah. But yeah, uh, depends on your definition. What is and isn't a glitch, glitch is obviously very debatable when it comes to speedrunning. Be Some would probably argue it's a glitchless run that I'm doing, and others would say, oh, this here and this here and this here is a glitch. Yeah. But yeah, nothing major, that's a good way of putting it. A bunch of small skips, you know. Like this skip right here to skip the puzzle. For example. Ooh. 
<laughs> that was a nice catapult right there. That's what you can do when the bridge lines up. That was a perfect catapult. <laughs> it's not faster than if the bridge is just normally down, but it looks cool. <laughs> Swag points, I guess. Get a little bit of style points right there. Must be the shrine Naltuk was talking about. Guess I should take some blue gleam. Naltuk said Aurea went past the shrine, up into the mountain. I'd better take those stairs. An ancient door. Maybe Aurea's inside. The run? That's not called it that. Lots of strange equipment. What was this place? It is a frozen wild speed run after all. And this category is extremely unforgiving. So I wouldn't say it's the run until the fire claws that those nodes on the floor must be connected to the door. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't really matter how good pace you're on in this category, it can disappear in an instant if something doesn't go your way. Yeah. Well, I guess Horizon is just really well protected against massive skips like that. Because there are a lot of glitches you can do to get into various places early in this game. It's just none of them progresses the game. You know, you can glitch into the cauldron here in the frozen walls, and Aurea and Aerotech will even spawn in there, even if you haven't completed anything, but, you know nothing come no objectives complete and the game barely progresses <laughs> and pretty much every single main quest area actually no i think all main quest areas at this point yeah all main quest areas in the main game you can glitch in, glitch into one way or the other in the main game it's just there's nothing there when you do to progress the game compared to other games where if you get into areas later in the game the game is just usually it's just programmed to be like oh you're here now so you must be that far into the game she has to be in here somewhere ultra hard speedrun you got clickbaited what do you mean what do you mean I'll bet the goal's the same. Get the light back to the source. You fought main game? Oh. Well, it's not main game, but it's still Ultra Hot. It doesn't say New Game Plus. It doesn't have to say New Game Plus. I mean, any percent new game plus? That's not a thing. Auxiliary channel recovered. Exploit successful. Restraints <laughs> evaded. Is someone there? Orea? Orea, I need you. Return to schedule task. 
Yeah, I mean, now think about my title is incorrect. It's ultra hard speedruns, which it is, and I'm going for world record. You, you heard? Who oh, I'm? He was now. Let's. It's the let whatever both weak side sounds tough. If you want to call that clickbait, then then you're gonna have a hard time on the internet, my friend. <laughs> oh, that was gold. Nice. You'd love to see it. And we got a good mount spawn today. Now we can save some time here, hopefully. I don't know. Clickbait is how you feel like it, but if I had to describe every single detail of what I'm doing in this exact moment in my title, it wouldn't be a very good title. <laughs> you know. Chance are still a thing. Yeah, they said in the tweet they're not removing it until February 2nd. So I guess first day next week. Yeah, Twitch is removing chants because they claim they people stop watching because of them. Which sounds strange in my channel, because I don't think that's the case, but... Surely there are some places where they have abused it and now it's ruined for everyone. But yeah, it does suck that they're removing a feature like that, because I actually really like the chance on Twitch. But uh, like I said, it's probably because somebody on Twitch had apparently abused them, which sounds weird, but because it's something that only moderators can do, and if your moderator is abusing something, then I don't know what you're doing as a streamer. <laughs> But oh well. It's just how the internet is these days. It's just a very small fraction of people as have is negatively affected by something, you gotta get rid of it. Now it's chance before it was dislikes on YouTube. Oh well. I thought you people I didn't I wanted a five and I want to see. Hey, Frank. Just like the chain slash me because people are abusing it to fake donos. That's a thing. Yeah, I can still see number of dislikes on my YouTube videos. But, uh... I don't really get many dislikes anymore, because why would you click a dislike button if it has no effect, you know? The reason why somebody would click the dislike button in the first place is, you know, 99% of the time to inform people that this video is not what they were looking for, or it's a bad video, or yada yada yada. So since they no longer can use it to inform people, why use it? All right. Gotta head up that mountain. It looks like there are a few ways to go up. And those rock paintings mark the path. So like some of my most recent videos used to have like video my videos generally used to have like a two percent dislike rate, which is pretty standard on YouTube. For most people. 
and these days like the newest videos i've uploaded get have like no dislikes at all on them which i assume is because why would you click the dislike button now and in a year or in a year's time or maybe even in two years youtube is probably going to come out and say oh we removed the dislike button completely because nobody uses it and it's like yeah why would they <laughs> but uh, just watch that's probably what's gonna happen in a year or two maybe even within a year all right challenger you need to take off the herd below Oh, careful. Yeah. Runs that. God, those long legs. I just had to take all those side steps. All right, Challenger. You need to take off the herd to run. Like, YouTube is just doing a lot of things when it comes to removing feedback from videos. If you go to the phone app on YouTube, they have also done everything they can to, like, hide comments on phone. But they made it really inconvenient to find comments on phone now. So, their excuse is, of course, oh, you can just read the comments if, uh... You know, there's no dislike, but again, you know, they're also doing everything they can to, like, hide comments up pretty much on the phone. Over here, challenger. Race her now take the or at the very way. least, they have made it very inconvenient to go to comments on the phone or app version of YouTube. I need to get to the valley. Okay, that really good for us, Glorified might have salvaged this run. Even though I died <laughs> using the Storm Slinger that Frost Glorified made off work. Because my gold is not perfect on the wear challenge, it can be a lot better, but because I'm not both the wear challenge itself and the frost go, go well in a split yet. So yeah, I guess run is not dead, but uh, oh, I called it a bit too early, perhaps, but <laughs> but that was a almost flawless frost go fight, so. But I know how to stop it. Yeah, that's probably the case, Astral. Yeah. I don't care what YouTube says that they claim it's for like creators that are harassed by dislikes and comments, maybe. But let's be honest here; it's clearly for corporations. <laughs> 
either that or YouTube is that stupid. And I like to believe that they are actually smart, they just have bad intentions. <laughs> or very profit-motivated incentives, I guess. Whatever you want to call it. Why do I destroy the towers on the way? Because the pulse disables my mount. And it's faster to destroy the towers than it is to avoid the towers. Hello. No. Hurry. Yeah. You. It was this. I'd like. Are you. I don't think it's Rewind, Rewind, I think it's companies, for example, Activision, that doesn't want 2 million dislikes on their Call of Duty trailers, or Coca-Cola that doesn't want a million dislikes on their video commercial that's a little bit more woke than people like it to be. <laughs> you know. I don't think it's YouTube themselves, I think they just had pressure from, like, uh, corporations that are like, hey, can you do something about a mass dislike of our commercials? Because it makes our product look bad, yada yada, you know? You know how it is. <laughs> Yeah, just do a better job, exactly. But why do a better job when you can just, you know, remove the negative feedback? <laughs> That sucks. Completely necessary in band, I believe. Yeah. How do you enable LG modes? Uh, you can use them if you're a subscriber. <laughs> it's a subscriber only thing. I do have some Aloy emotes that are free to use if you have better Twitch TV installed. As well as uh, other basic, what are they called? Better Twitch CMU modes. Machine. 
scary. That's bad. That's really, really bad. Yeah, can't do anything. Terrible. Oh well. If this section goes perfectly and good fight, crawl fight, can still PB. Ugh. I need to clean up my room or vacuum. It's a little too dusty. In there. Doesn't look like there's much choice. Getting dusty in there. Can't see a way to close the vent from here. I'll have to go over. Not a show of that vent. Oh, we'll need to get past that vent. Stay here until I find a way for all of us to cross. That's it. Here they come. Come on over, it's safe. Okay. I don't fight it. There's no dust in the frozen walls, it's only in the forbidden moist. But I'm gonna sneeze a lot in the forbidden moist, you say? <laughs> Restraints abated. To any human responder, my systems have been compromised by a malware daemon of unknown origin. Trace routes have confirmed this entity's designation as Hephaestus. It must be stopped at all costs. It has reconfigured this facility yeah. to build Gasm will all of a sudden be the most used emote. I have attached additional data to their <laughs> Spirit speaks to us. <laughs> we have talked about that sequence. That maybe Gorilla will make the DLC something set D. Or shorten to set D. For Forbidden West, just to really confuse people that use the. Maybe you're right. That's use the abbreviated names. <laughs> Oh my god. That was quick. Well, can we get a good tablet jump now? To any human responder, the reconfiguration of the that happen? Uh, one of the guns, the scorcher shot. One of the guns, the Scorcher shot, uh, hit the bombs perfectly and broke the gate. These vulnerabilities to destroy compromised elements of this facility while preserving most of the backup stabilization. Recapture imminent. I have attached additional... I don't understand what the spirit was trying to tell us. It's been looking for a way to defeat the daemon. Machine parts dumped here to be melted down. Oh, oh my god. Yeah, looks like I'll have to go over. Again. Where 
Cruz will have a lot easier time getting here. I should have shot them. Okay, they're coming. Was that a first try? Indeed. That was a perfect section there, except second try and going through the vent. But everything else was perfect on that split. Get a good pack, Lopet. But we have to find out. Keep moving towards the core. Uh-oh. Whatever Cyan did, I don't think Hephaestus is happy about it. Okay. The new unit that Cyan warned us about? This won't be easy. Far away. I... Let's finish the run before I say anything. I so as just the truth. I will. I may. I'd like to pressure. Let's go. What? <laughs> Chieftain. Just. <laughs> what? I wondered if you thought. Where the? Where did that come from? What? <laughs> that was this. If you'd never come along. I mean, technically, the first round that got past the first split. What? Aurea would be alone. <laughs> well, and the spirit I don't get it. Like, so much what? Be lost. I struggle for so long with this category. Either way. Oh, I rage critted this category. Like, what? How many times? Oh, because of the stupid endgame. And then <laughs> all of a sudden I just get a PB yesterday that was like super good. And then today as well, it's just like, okay. That's a world record, by the way. 
We got another world record back before Forbidden West. What? How? Excuse me. This doesn't make sense. How? <laughs> what? At last, I truly know who she was. Um. And why the spirit was so important. I mean, I look at all the time I lost as well in various places. Only you could have heard it, brother. This run wasn't even perfect. Now I understand. It's, I guess it was just perfect in the important parts. There's something else, isn't there? It, I even said the run is dead because I died on wear a challenge. <laughs> I like I died on wear a challenge. Besides, I don't get it. What? <laughs> How's this a record? <laughs> a strong one. <laughs> okay. I mean, oh, I'll take it. I'm, I mean, I'm not sure. not gonna take it, right? The daemon is gone, um, but there's much to be done. You mean the new units? <laughs> what happened on Epsilon? I just yes. nailed all the skips and got the best scorchers I've ever had. Tracking them from Song's Edge. I could help with those. I have no doubt. First try, Terblast John, perfect scorchers, and I have the vent, vent, vent skip was second try, but a quick second try, to be fair. <laughs> I mean, okay. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what to say. That's, I mean, this second run of the day as well. It like it's not even 5 p.m. I haven't even streamed for an hour. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I mean, I got the main game record the other day with a really good run as well, and that was also like the first run of the day. This was technically second run because I did reset once to bomb jumps, but you know, still. Um. <laughs> I mean, nice, I guess. <laughs> Let's quickly go over the run, because why not, right? Um, Song Set was uh, solid. I mean, actually not. Song Set should be sub-140 on average. So that can save time. Tolnik was good, except for the Glenthogs were a little slow. Uh, Natuk, I missed two shots on Natuk, so that was not great. Um, Shaman's Path was perfect with that really good um what are this what was it called catapult jump control trial was solid good mount spawn but the trial itself could have been faster where challenge i died uh i died because of the storm slinger but i still had a really good l remaining part of the fight um like the rem like my second try in the fight went really well and then uh was called the bellow bags went well and then the frost claws were borderline perfect long notch was solid fire break everything was good except the thunder jaw but uh, i messed up the thunder jaw i froze him at a bad angle and uh couldn't get the pl plates off with the ice rail and then had to struggle to get some damage into him so that was not a good fight at all and then epsilon second try and vent skip uh vent skip was second try but scorchers were the fastest they have ever been and Terblast Jump, first try. Fireclaw was very solid. Not perfect, but very solid. The ending was perfect in Fireclaw fight, but uh, the the first half or the first half of it could have been a little cleaner. And then Air Attack was good. I mean, yeah, I don't know what to say. This kind of came out of nowhere, and I mean, I struggled for such a long time with this category. I mean, a lot of the new viewers probably don't know this. But when I lost my record in this category, like, I think a year ago, I think it was. Yeah, because it was around February last year. I really had a hard time with this category. I just couldn't do any of the skips. I always failed the skips. I would get many good runs, but the skips would just never... Like, the skips were just never working <laughs> at the end of the run, and I always got screwed, and... the. The only time the skips would pay out first try would be if I had a really bad run. So, like, I just struggled for so long with this category. Um, and yeah, last year in February was first try was my first attempt at getting this record back, which I failed because that was also at the time my grandmother passed away last year, and that you know didn't really help with the mental state. So I ended up quitting the this category and tried for a different category instead when I. Uh, last year and then I think in fall I attempted it early in the fall I attempted to get it back again but that didn't last very long because I started to hate the skips at the end because again they would just not work and then I tried 
a little bit again in i think it was november or october i had another go at it and same thing really just couldn't get things to work and now here we are second day of running this category after my fourth attempt at coming back to this record and i now have a i now have the record because i don't know i guess i just played really well and things just clicked so yeah <laughs> i don't know <laughs> i mean it just feels so weird it, it feels so weird i really thought i was gonna struggle with this because you know that's what happened the last couple of times but well i mean it took now i have it <laughs> I don't know what to say. So, GG, I guess. Um, I don't know if I'll try and get it a little bit lower, maybe, but depends. But uh, I got it. <laughs> GG. Oh, yeah, Michael called the run. You said the run in the beginning, and I said, well, <laughs> I said the run was very un unforgiving, and then Michael was like, the run. <laughs> uh, Michael actually called it. <laughs> GG, Michael. <laughs> But yeah, GG. I guess another world record down uh, that I'm missing. So yeah, awesome. Nice. I mean, I'm just in shock that I got this. But uh, I feel like I'm just rambling now, so GG.